Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will dive deep into the protective angle method for lightning protection design. The protective angle method is a concept defined by the international standard IEC 62305 to help you design your lightning protection system. After this video, you will get a clear picture about what is the protective angle method, how does the protective angle method work and what angle you should be using to design your lightning protection system. So let's start. What is the protective angle method? This method is commonly referred to as a mathematical simplification of the rolling sphere method. The protective angle is determined in such a way that when the slope intersects the rolling sphere, the additional area under the protective angle marked green in this figure and the area that is now under the protective angle marked red are equal. The protective angle method is best used on simple structures. Also, it is valid only up to heights equal to the radius of the rolling sphere as defined by the class of lightning protection system for that structure. For structures with a protruding metallic structure, the protective angle method is generally used as a supplement to the mesh method. We have explained the rolling sphere and the mesh method in our blogs. The link is in the description. We also have a detailed video about the rolling sphere. You can find the link here and in our description. If you like this video, Please subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightning protection and electrical engineering. Anyways, moving on, how does the protective angle method work? The protective angle method is a 3D concept as shown in this figure. Think of the protected area like a cone. This cone starts from the very top of the air termination rod. From there, it spreads out all the way down to the structure's surface. The protected area will be cone shaped in the case of a simple air termination rod as shown here. However, it can also be a 10 shaped protected area in case of a catenary wire where two or more air terminals are required. So what protective angle should you use for designing your system? The angle depends on the class of lightning protection system and the height of the rod. It is determined from table 2 from IEC 62305 part 3 as shown here. For simplifying it further, here's the table showing the protective angle for air termination rods that are up to 2 meters in length. These design methods like the rolling sphere method, the protective angle method and the mesh method should only be carried out by a competent or authorized engineer. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing your lightning protection systems. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. Before skipping to any other video, please note that the protective angle method is valid only up to heights equal to the radius of the rolling sphere. What exactly is the rolling sphere method? Well, to understand more, you can watch the video right here. 